Okay, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the Trident TGUI 9400, 9440 AGI PCI graphics adapter. So these are the drivers that came with this card. And I got this video card, a Super VGA video card with my um, Pentium 100 megahertz computer back in 1995. So there are two versions of this card. There's a one megabyte version and a two megabyte version. And this video card is the two megabyte version. As you can see, um, the RAM sockets are filled up. So if it's a one megabyte version, there's no chips here, basically. And uh, this, I use this video card for uh, the operating system that I had for my Pentium 100 was a, uh, I think it had DOS 6.2 and it had uh, Microsoft Windows 3.1. That's what it came with, and it came with these drivers as well. They gave me all the drivers for the computer. And um, what I did was I, after I upgraded this video card to a S3 Verge, um, I think it was a DX back in 1997. What I did was I just took this card out and I just stored it in a in a box or something, along with the driver. I just put it in a anti-static bag like this. It's not exactly this one. It, it's this one is for the motherboard, but and uh, I put it in an anti-static bag in a box, and then I just left it there. And I just found it like today, basically. And this is the original card that I use. It uses a 15-pin VGA port, so that's how you connect to a monitor and. It was connected to a 14 inch Super VGA monitor when I used it. And um, it's just a standard uh, Super VGA card. It was a very popular uh, Super VGA card back in the day. Um, let's see, um, it was capable of displaying 24 um, bit true color, which was uh, 16 million colors at a time uh, 65,000 which was 65,000 colors which was 16 bit color and of course you had 256 colors which was a uh, standard VGA you could display standard VGA um, super VGA resolutions like I s said like 1800 by 600 which was very standard back in 1995, 1996 for Super VGA, um, what, and after that it's 1024 by 768, and you have one, 1280 by 1024, which was very, which was a very high resolution at the time, and you had 1600 by 1200, and at that resolution you could only display 16 colors. Now I'm going to show you. Um, what kind of colors it could display in the next part of this video. Um, a little bit of the overview of the company, the Trident company. Um, they started, they, they were founded back in 1987. I think it was a Taiwanese company. They made all types of video cards. Uh, they made the TVGA 8900C TVGA 9000 and this one which is a TGUI 9400-1 as you can see and uh, they made Cyber 9525DVD they made uh, sound cards as well and all types of other electronic equipment or peripherals for the computer and um, they were 
they went out of business in 2012 and the reason for this is because um, with the prevalence of um, 3D accelerators from companies like uh, 3D FX Interactive because um, 3D FX, 3D accelerators were becoming very, I guess, they were introduced in 1997 and they were becoming very, very popular. And later on, they made um, 3D FX Interactive and other companies like STB Velocity, um, NVIDIA, and other companies made all in one video cards, which enabled them to put a 3D accelerator on a video card and that's what that was kind of like the death nail for Super VG adapters basically and uh, they were lingering along until 2012 and then they went out of business this company is no longer active I mean it's no longer in business and uh, now I'm gonna show you how it looks in uh, Windows 3.1. So I'll get to the next part of the video. Okay, now I'm back on my computer. So I'm using PCM version 15, um, emulating a Pentium 100 megahertz computer with a Trident uh, EG UI. 9440AGI PCI graphics adapter. So let me go into Windows and show you what this card is capable of. So here's display drivers and utilities. So here, so at 640 by 480, um, I could display up to 16 million colors. At 60 hertz, at 800 by 600, I'm able to display 256 colors. At 60 hertz or 75 hertz, at 1024 by 768, I'm able to display 256 colors at 87 hertz. 60 hertz or 70 hertz at 1280 by 1024 i'm able to display 256 colors but this is a two megabyte video card so i'm able to do that but with a one megabyte video card um your display resolution is going to be a lot less and if I want to display 1600 by 1200, I can only um, use 16 colors at 87 hertz. So for 256K colors, I think that's like standard VGA. It's actually better than standard VGA because uh, standard VGA only had 256 kbytes of RAM and at 640 by 480 you're only able to display 16 colors. At 320 by 200 you'll be able to display 256 colors. So this is a super VGA card so you're able to do a lot more. I think 16 million is um, 24 bit true color. That's what it is. You can display 16 million colors at one time in the screen. So for 256, I think it's, you're able to display about, um, let's see. Maybe 262,000 colors. You could pick 256 colors out of 262,000 colors. That's what 256 colors means or implies. So 
let's try something else. I'm gonna close that. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to change it. Cancel. Okay. So I want to try. Let's try some Windows games. Solitaire. No, I don't like Solitaire. Close that. Mine sweeper. Whoops. New. Whoops. Okay. Let's try a better game like Civilization 2. I think this video card was built for GUI or graphical user interface uh, operating systems. And when I got this video card, I got it with my Pentium 100 megahertz computer back in 1995. 1994, I can't really remember correctly. I think it was 1995. Okay, good. This video card was uh, capable of playing all kinds of DOS, MS-DOS games, uh, games on Windows 3.1, even on Windows 95, because I had this um, video card. I upgraded my Pentium 100 to a um, Windows 95 at about 19, late 1996. So I had Windows 95 then, and I was using that vid the same video card for that operating system as well. And it worked pretty good. There's no problem with it. It provided a pretty snappy experience. Um, let's see. This is the actual time right now. Close that. So let me get out of here. So I think this is that's it for the video. If you have any questions, uh, you could leave in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. So I'm gonna exit Windows and end it.